What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this really cool and relatively affordable Rogue Armor toy hauler. This is gonna be a relatively traditional floor plan, but there are some cool perks about this specific toy hauler that you may like. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, before we get too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 17,435 pounds and a cargo capacity of 3,054 pounds. It's going to ride on 16 inch G rated tires and it's going to have twin 7,000 pound axles. So the overall setup here is pretty good, especially considering it doesn't have a tremendously high gross vehicle weight rating, but it still has about two tons worth of cargo capacity. The dry weight which Forest River puts on the pin box up here, is 13,422 pounds. The total length is 45 feet long. So I love the fact that they put this sticker on the side. This utilizes the new Rhino box up front, which is part of the new Rhino frame series. So basically they've used a six by six square beam that runs across the front section here, and it gives them the ability to strengthen this area significantly. So there's actually a gooseneck option that LCI offers that is an OEM product you can get this equipped with which is really really cool now a few things to note about this specific unit is this front section up here they've done a lot of different things that you might not normally recognize on the front of most fifth wheels one of which is they've installed a very very cool generator up front so the generator that comes equipped in this specific one is the new Yamaha powered NPS 5500. So this is a competitor to the Onan generator. It looks like it takes up a slightly smaller footprint. In terms of overall performance, I can't really comment on how well it performs compared to the Onan. I do like the fact that they have the exhaust sticking out right here. I don't necessarily think you'd have a water issue if you have water spray coming into it, but on a lot of these toy haulers with generators or almost any RV with a generator, the exhaust usually runs down the side here versus on this specific unit, it's right here at the bottom. And it does have a 30 gallon fuel tank in the back, which is right next to your toy hauler fuel tank. So you basically have two fuel tanks here and you can refill one with the other, which is also really nice. You have a storage compartment up here. It's a really cool storage section because it passes through to the side basement storage. A few other brands have done something similar. I know there's some Heartland models that have done something similar, but it's actually kind of a interesting way of setting up your storage. And then on this side, there is a, another storage area specifically for your batteries. So what's cool about this setup is that you could put a lot of batteries in here if you wanted to put a real robust solar system on this specific RV, which is really nice. And you can see there's a solar charge controller right down there, which means there's likely a solar system already on this specific RV. You can see that they indicate the solar charge controller here. We're gonna go around this side first. So over here, you're gonna have propane. It's a single propane can on this side and you're also going to have another 30 pound propane can on the other side. This utilizes the ground control auto leveling system. Over here, your storage hatch. Doors aren't real thick. You have nice little thumb twists here to lock it in place. You do have quite a bit of storage in here and this is not a drop frame unit, at least in this section. So there is a drop frame section right there for that front area you saw, but it doesn't extend back very far. Had they extended it back, you could have really dropped this down and gotten quite a bit more storage. But keep in mind, this is a toy hauler. So you're gonna have a big garage in the back that you can also store things. And this is pretty nice. So you have about 20, maybe 21 inches of height in here to be able to store almost anything you'd need. And you can put quite a bit of stuff in here as well. You can see it's all framed off for the bath deck above in aluminum. You have your sprayer hose right here. You also have a little light switch right there and your wet panel is gonna be on the other side. I do wish that they would have used slam latches at least on these luggage doors. Coming back, you have some outside speakers. This is gonna be the outside of your furnace. You have a TV plug here as well as your power and a mounting bracket so you can hang your TV up here. Has a very interesting high gloss door has the Moride step above step system on here as well. Coming around this way. So the slide on this side is a cable driven slide as are the two slides on the other side. 
you can see that this has a TPMS system already installed. You have nice G-rated tires on here. These are Westlake tires. There is no upgraded suspension equalizer on this unit, however, and I would recommend changing these components out here relatively soon. Put some heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, and upgrade this suspension in the middle. And I think overall it's gonna be a better setup and it's gonna give you the ability to service the components and have longer lasting components. Has a very, very large 12 inch I-beam frame that runs all the way down it, which is nice. Coming around this way, you have your second entry exit right here. You have a place for a dog leash. You also have a patio system back here, similar to most other toy haulers. You basically flip those up, drop this down, and you're gonna have a railing that goes around it so you can have a nice back patio off your toy hauler. There's no receiver hitch on this unit, so you can't put any type of cargo carrier back here. You have a nice fold out ladder coming off the side. And on this side, you're gonna have your fueling station. This is gonna be for your generator. And then you're gonna have a fueling station here for your toys. So you're gonna have two tanks on board. And I believe both tanks are 30 gallon tanks. So if you just wanna run your generator for a longer period of time, you could technically use this tank to fill up that tank, which is pretty cool. Essentially 60 gallons of fuel with you. You have your 50 amp connection over here. Here's the other side of your suspension wheel tire setup. All of your valves are down here, so you can open up your gray tank and such. You have another valve back here for the bathroom that's gonna be in the actual garage area of this specific toy hauler. You're gonna have a gas electric refrigerator once we get inside, that's what the back of these are for. This is gonna be the back of your water heater. This is gonna be your docking station where all your water controls and everything else are, plus your black tank flush. And here's the other side of your storage. This is kind of interesting. You can actually open up these panels right here and access everything inside of here. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, you know, why don't they clean all this wiring up? Well, the reality of it is you don't really need to. I mean, this is an area most people are never gonna get into unless they need to service something. All the wires are color coded, so it makes it easy to kind of trace and get to what you need. But ultimately, you know, laying it out like this is something that definitely speeds up the production process. And at the same time, again, these aren't areas that you're typically gonna spend a lot of time looking at. It's cool how they put it on this flap right here so you don't have to unscrew any panels to get into that space. And here's your other propane tank in here. And your auto leveling is up here, which is pretty nice. It's kind of out of the elements. Let's go ahead and move inside of this Rogue Armor 351 G2. So you guys probably noticed from the outside, the door looked like it was a solid glass door. From the inside, you do have a window opening. It is ready for the LCI thin shade, which is a little pull down shade and uh, you can see that you do have some visibility through the door, which is nice. So I like the kitchen in this unit. You have a good sized shelf up here. You have some nice countertop space here as well. Nice fixtures, really nice farm style sink, which we'll take a closer look at here in a second. All your control panels are right here. This RV has two AC units, one up front and then one in the garage. And then here are your controls for those AC units. Coming around this way, it has a Dometic gas electric refrigerator. Pretty good size as well. This is one of the larger gas electric refrigerators you can get in an RV. And real quick, the price is over here. This has an MSRP of 103167 and a sale price of 69999 So a pretty big discount off of MSRP on this unit. Up top here, you have some cabinet storage. This is gonna be essentially your pantry storage area. Then more space down here. Over here in the kitchen, you have three drawers here. Here's your tire pressure monitoring system. Again, farm style sink. Nice space underneath the sink, as well as some nice cabinets right here. You have some power outlets right here, USB connections here. And again, this is a great place for a coffee station. Some nice cabinets up top that are relatively deep. You know, there's definitely a good amount of storage in this unit, which is nice. I definitely like to see cabinets and drawers in a kitchen space. Three burner graystone gas cooktop, plus some storage underneath. They probably could have used this as like a drawer. 
nice residential size microwave and it is a convection microwave which is really nice coming around so you have a theater style sofa here which seats four people you could probably fit a few more if they're small kids and they all recline which is also really nice plus you have some nice features here at the end it looks like you have vibrate lighting and heat and there's a little light ring inside of there as well over here you have a good size TV it looks to be about a 50 inch TV it has a relatively compact panoramic fireplace and plenty of connections here for USB as well as power so you can charge your phones and things like that while you're over here and then you have some more cabinets up top not too much depth to them I mean you could hold some things up here certainly but you know it's not really designed for anything that would be large coming into the garage you have this really cool glass door that seals really well against its threshold which means if you have any toys in here that smell like gas or fuel or anything like that you're really not going to have that smell permeate into the living area inside here you have your steps and these steps are designed to be used with the patio and the patios down so this is the way you would get on and off the patio from there this is also where your washer and dryer connections would be so if you have a stackable unit this is where it would go you have a really cool bathroom setup. Why is this cool? Because I have been saying they need to put a wet bath style bathroom shower in the back of toy haulers forever. And it's cool to see that they're starting to do that. So they give you a little small cornered sink, but they give you a full shower in here. So if you have toys in the back and you've been working on them, you're dirty, you don't have to walk through the whole RV to get to the shower, you have it back here. So that is really, really cool. And the toilet back here is also a porcelain foot flush toilet as opposed to a plastic toilet which you would typically see in a wet bath so that's very nice over here you have one of your cross vents one right here and then you're going to have one in the bottom corner over there that's in case again you have toys in here that smell like fuel this allows airflow to go through and kind of filter that air out you can see you have one of your beds up in place already so this is going to be i believe almost a king size i think it's a queen size but it looks to be almost the size of a king size bed you could easily sleep a bunch of people across that and then these are going to turn into beds as well so you have additional sleeping space here and your dinette table can go in between these chairs when they're down like this so you have a nice place to eat and overlook your patio your second entry exit right here also has a window and it has the thin shade compatible window up here so you have the ability to put a nice shade down now this is really cool so this is another sleeping area it's a loft right and this space let's see if I can get up here and take a look at it real quick let me turn the light on this space is really cool because a lot of toy haulers have lofts but they're kind of in an awkward place and they don't necessarily provide you with the most amount of space What's nice about this one is if you need to use a loft, it's there. You could use it for storage or whatever you need. But when you're not using it, you can actually tilt it up like this. Check that out and it folds up. That is really, really cool. Very smart, very interesting. So again, you have these strut arms right here. And when you wanna use this as a loft, you basically pull this handle down and now you have a really really cool large space up top so that is very very nice plus you have a cable TV connection hookup right up here as well and you have some speakers above you actually it looks like your cable and power connections are right over here all right let's work our way up to the front of this toy hauler nothing groundbreaking in terms of the floor plan but a lot of nice little things Okay, taking a look in the bathroom. I do like the use of a different style wallboard. Definitely breaks things up a little bit, gives it a, a bit of a, I guess, more custom or homey type feel to it. You have a nice large cornered shower here. You could be upwards of about six, five and comfortably fit inside of this shower. Great size medicine cabinet back here. Very, very deep. Plenty of room in there really really nice size sink area with stainless steel basin you got plenty of space around it plus your power right here and then you have a lot of space for toiletries towels things like that okay let's exit here nice size window and really nice looking valances as well even though this is decorative so that's not actually a real inlay it's more of a decorative inlay Okay, heading up to the bedroom area. 
So you get a king size bed in this unit, which is also very nice. You have plenty of room on the sides of the bed to get on it. Good heights to the slides. It's just a nice space. And what's really cool, and you might be able to tell, is that the bed is actually leaning up, which means you have the ability to adjust the headboard, or at least the top portion where you're sleeping, so you can watch TV. If you have a TV, you can hang it in this area right here. This is gonna be your second air conditioner. You have the first one in the garage back there. They're all ducted throughout the system, so it's really nice. In terms of closet space, you have two really nice mirrors here on the closet doors. Plenty of space for shoes. Lots of storage room in here because you don't put the washer and dryer in the closet. It gives you this tremendous space for a closet. So you have an enormous closet. I mean, it's large enough that you could easily walk inside. That's how big of a floor space you have in here. Plenty of room at the end of the bed, which is also really nice. Considering the fact you do have a king size bed, this is actually the table for the back garage area, that dinette I told you about. Plenty of room here at the end. You have some drawers here. There's one of your heat ducts. You have a nice barn style door right here, which opens and closes. And there's your door to the bathroom. One thing I didn't point out is the shower fixture. Check this out. So that is a pretty nice upgrade. You don't typically see that on a lot of RVs, especially a more budget oriented toy hauler to have this upgraded shower is really nice. So you have four sprayers here, one there, one there, one there, and one up there. Very cool and unexpected. Porcelain foot flush toilet, of course. Then you have a lot of connections down here as well. You can open and close your slide out here in the master bedroom from this control here, and that's really nice. That gives you the ability to make sure nothing's gonna bind or get in the way whenever you're closing it. Okay, let's work our way back down a little bit. And coming back here, taking a closer look, you have your voltage monitor right here. You have your generator start stop button right here as well. So with the Onan system, you have this separate panel for your generator. And on here, you have it built into the main panel, which is actually pretty nice. Overall, this is pretty traditional in terms of the living room kitchen space for a toy hauler. The garage is 13 feet long, so it's definitely on the longer side of what most people are looking for, I think, in terms of a toy hauler with a garage. There are some upgrades I would like to see, right? The main upgrades are definitely from a suspension perspective. I think it has a good rated tire. I think the axles are fine for it, um, especially considering this has a relatively low gross vehicle weight rating for a large toy hauler. And I would like to see things like upgraded shackles, upgraded shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, stuff like that, because I think those are just kind of a no brainer when it comes to a toy hauler that's gonna have you know, a heavy toy in the back and that's relatively long and tall. But overall, I like this unit and I think at 69,999, that's a pretty good value as well. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.